Ghost hunters hunting for ghosts in the slogging cabin. I want top. Um, um, I want top. Where, where am I supposed to put my backpack? You can put boots over there. Okay, I. I that really part looks messed up. There, I wish we actually brought flashlights. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really bad. I'm not even sure if the GoPro. Yeah, I can barely see anything. Yeah, I want to try going on the bunk. Uh, yeah, Why? Wait, where are we going? Wait. A grindstone? Let me see. So guys, the sign over there said that up to 52 men loggers would sleep in a shanty just like this. <gasps> Dad, a grindstone. That's cool. Try and grinding. We need something sharp. Do you have anything dull? Put your backpack on. Are you recording or are you doing yeah. time lapse? Uh, I'm recording right now. Okay, cool. The log walls. Can you hold this for a sec? Why? Put it on. But I want to go ahead and try and go on top on. I don't. Does it say you can? Uh, Ow! It says nothing about Read the sign first. It doesn't say anything. There's nothing. There's no signs. Two or three men constructed the first canvas camp in the autumn before the main work for the ride. Dexter! They did not bother to remove the bark because the camp was usually vacated after one year. Generally, the walls were at least five feet high. Sometimes, in order to save time, the camp was built over a hollow so that the walls were only four feet high and the floor was one or two feet below the ground. Come on, the top bunk! You almost look to the possessed. Don't go on the one. the same one. Yeah, go on, go on the one beside me. Huh. Go on that one. Okay. Tommy, get your bunk. It looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Two to a bunk. Bunks were built with materials found in the forest. Poles, wooden pegs, and hewn boards. They were placed at the end or along both sides of the building. Two men slept in each bunk. The building could accommodate 20 to 40 men. Most camps had some form of wooden floor, especially in front of the bunks. The men sat on the lower tier of bunks to eat. They slept up top. And that sign up front said these 40 men, they would get out early in the morning at sunrise. And they would go out and start chopping down those giant pine trees that we already saw. So this is pine wood? Well, that's what they used to... Uh, Build this place? This said it was built out of trees that were already fallen. So that the, the lumber or the, the lumberjacks like could come could out. Sell it. Ah. But they said, uh, Tommy, get up there. If you I'm like, I'm going to get a picture of everybody. No, not on the same bunk. Why? Well, no, it was two to a bunk. Two to a yeah, bunk? Yeah, a bunk. Bunny, like it fit everybody in. It's a bottom bunk. No, that's that's where they sat to eat. Oh. So, the, so they were saying like... these 40 men would get out and go chop down trees all day long. Then they'd come back in here to get warm. They'd have a big fire here in the middle and they would eat and sleep. <laughs> they had nowhere to bathe, nowhere to shower. Look at how stinky it must have been. Forty working men. How do they? How come there's a kettle inside of there? There's tons Oil of stuff. Water for... No they like, one, tea coffee. One coffee. No, they didn't have coffee back then. They probably did. Coffee beans. It was like it was made like something. Seven I want to sit down and eat my. Food. We were ghost hunt. We have two extra ghost hunters. Two I'm sitting down and do eating that? my food. We Same. have no food. Oh. Do we have food? You guys want to check out this stove top? No, oh, there's a stove. There's a, there's a kettle over the fire. There's some burnt wood for extra. Like I'm going to grind something. <laughs> Marcia. Marcia, do you have something dull? Dull? Dull. That's what they, that's what they use. Like a knife or something? <laughs> Long strips of wood were used outside to fill the cracks between the logs, while inside they used handfuls of sphagnum moss to close in thick mat in boggy areas. So these are round logs and they just fill the gaps in between them with moss. Another bread. In the bread box. Ooh, that's Charlie's area. 700 pounds of flour would be dumped into this box daily together with 
other ingredients of flour was mixed into dough for bread or pastry. The top turned upside down and was used as a bread box. This is a giant bread box. That's huge, eh? Please, bread box. So what do you think that they ate? Like, think of what they must have had to no eat. No bread only. Bread. Look at this. Pretty much. It's Whoa. Does, do you have any enough, Reader? I believe breads no. and soups. Oh, yeah, Dexter has a pan. Show me, Dex. It, no, this is a ladle. Look at how they made their benches, too. Oh, there's a, lo there's a door. There's a lock for the door. Mm -hmm. I think. Is this the lock or is this the handle? Very cool. Watch your head. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. Oh! We could close this door. What are you saying in French, Tommy? Attention, à, à, vos. In French, it says wash your head. What? It says wash your head in the French. It actually says attention to your head. Watch your head. Lock us in, Donnie. That museum is closed. Come on. The museum's closed? Look at that, like, snowy. We've been in here for 20 minutes? Well, probably by the time. No, we've the gift been store. in here for six minutes. Oh, we were in the gift store, too, right? But we've been in this house for six minutes. Pretty cool. Do you guys like that? Yeah, yeah that's cool. I seemed pretty excited. I could hear you when I was walking up. Guess what? What? Hey, there's another one! Yes! I love the enthusiasm. Hey, guys, wait! <laughs> This is for horses. Yeah. What's this? This is a puppy for. This is for horses. Aw, oh, they latched everything on. Lame. Oh, can you close this? No. Oh, man, I'm looking to close it. Where's the third one? We have a video. Oh my God. The logger's friend. Hey, look at over there. There's another one. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is there another one? Number three. This is the actual logging. I'm going to stop. <laughs>